Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and I'm here at IFA 2014 where the new Lenovo Vibe C2 smartphone just got announced. I said a smartphone, maybe I should have called it a phablet because it carries a huge 5.5 inch display, but we'll get to hardware specifications in a minute. First, let's say a few words about the design of this new phone. It is one premium well-made uh, handset with metal elements on its backside. Really, this surface feels great to the touch and the whole smartphone has a nice solid reassuring feel. Well, it's a little bit sharp here down at the corners and we're not sure how this will affect uh, on its usability in the long run. Probably it will not uh, make the experience uh, very pleasurable. But let's move on. Here on the left side we only have the slot for the SIM card of the device and at the right side we have its power and volume buttons. At the bottom we have uh, what appears to be speakers and a microphone and at the top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The front of uh, the smartphone is graced by this uh, beautiful 8 megapixel uh, front facing camera and down here at the bottom we see a set of capacitive buttons used for navigating through the interface. As for the screen of the device, as we said it's a 5.5 inch panel but the resolution is only 720p, 720 by 1280 pixels. Don't get us wrong, it gets the job done, it's just not the most pixel dense a smartphone uh, out there. As far as uh, color production and view angles go, we're quite satisfied with what we see. To the naked eye, the screen really looks, uh, looks uh, great. And one more thing about this smartphone is that this, the display actually has a very high brightness output and the Lenovo claims that you should have no troubles using it outdoors on a sunny day. The processor inside this device is a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip, a new 64-bit uh, model, but it's not the top uh, system on chip that uh, Qualcomm has to offer right now. And uh, while that's uh, the case, the performance of the device appears to be adequate. The software uh, doesn't uh, show any signs of uh, lag whatsoever, so uh, the chip seems to be handling the, the software pretty well. And speaking of software, you get the Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box with some heavy modification going on. This is uh, Lenovo's own user interface, uh, which, uh, excuse me, which is quite different from uh, what we know from stock Android. One thing is that the, the application drawer is gone, so the new apps that you install get sent straight to your home screen. This is what the notification uh, panel looks like. And uh, another cool thing about this user interface is that uh, it will actually learn from uh, the way you use it um, over time and it will allow you to uh, go straight to your favorite most frequently used applications uh, straight from uh, the lock screen. As for the camera of this device, as we already said, you get a great 8 megapixel front facing camera for outstanding selfies and on the back we have a 30 megapixel camera with optical stabilization and a dual LED flash. Hopefully this sensor will produce some great images. As for the rest of the hardware specs of this device, you get a generous 3000 mAh battery in there and uh, 32 gigabytes of storage for all of your personal files. So that was the Lenovo Vibe Z2 from IFA 2014. This is Nick with Phone Arena. For more details, check out our website, phonearena.com.